Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Dope. So, Call of Duty actually finally made a podcast, I guess, so they could be more open and tr- like basically transparent about like what's coming to COD and all the multiplayer stuff, campaign stuff, or anything like that. Pretty much just needs to be discussed in general because I know just for the simple fact of like just multiplayer, especially around like skill based matchmaking. They never pretty much said anything about it or announced anything about it until like a while ago when they made maybe two posts about it, but that was pretty much it. So they're not really transparent when it comes down to like anything like Call of Duty related is usually like other YouTubers that break things down and go into, you know, what's happening. It's usually they're like Call of Duty next stuff in like um like game fest or whenever they drop their trailers for the new games is the only time you'll actually like hear about anything like call of duty related but today i'm specifically just talking about just the zombie stuff multiplayer stuff is cool i just play multiplayer but i don't really like talk about it crazy zombies though is kind of interesting because it's been dead for some time now so it's finally getting revival so hopefully it's going to be good, but we're just going to go into the uh, the podcast. They don't even talk about zombies that long, but we're just going to go over and see what they actually just like talk about. This is another major change um, coming into BO6. Round based is back. Round based That's is back. Huge. Biggest like uh, just huge news um, for the zombies community out there who are among the most passionate Mm-mm. vocal group of people mm. that I have like in terms of communities. They're so awesome and just you know, hearing people just be so positive about RBZ being back and... It's so funny. It's just funny that they say, well, her specifically, that she talks about, like, so happy and, you know, knowing the the fan base is so crazy and they're all, you know, so positive that round base is coming back and blah, 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 blah. I don't know if she'd be on the same freaking subreddits and watching the same YouTube videos as me. But the reason round bases is finally coming back is because people complained so much about their not being round based, like a, a realistic, like old school round base, like what they used to do. So people were mostly negative to get to the positive. So now the positive is finally zombies is coming back to how it should be. Finally, this, finally, that. It's not like it's, I guess, still positive, but it's not the 100% positivity. Or positivity that she's really even talking about in the first place. Um, two new maps, which is two new maps pretty wild. Watch. Can you say anything about that? Can you share? Yeah. Any um, Can we get any so notes? again, the creators came in um, a couple, a little bit ago now, and so we were excited to show this off to them. Have two brand new round based zombies maps coming at launch, and they are called Liberty Falls, and Terminus, mm. and they mm. actually happen concurrently. So. You play one, you play the other, you'll understand how that fits together in the narrative, which I'm not going to talk about, but I can tell you um, there's some really exciting things. And it basically, you know, follows up with where we, you know, last left off zombies in Black Ops Cold War. They speak about like creators also coming out too to play the game. It obviously, well, at least for me, I haven't heard anything about it. But the only person I did see was Milo's videos or his uh, reaction video, like afterwards. And dude was so distraught. <laughs> I'm just gonna play the clips, but dude was just like so distraught that he basically wasn't even invited and didn't know he didn't even know that other people already played the game. Um. So, so again, the creators came in. Um. A couple. A little bit ago now and so we were excited to show this off to them but we wait what what wait have they seen have people seen zombies early huh i i was have i forgotten that did i know that i i don't think i was aware that people had seen zombies already Maybe I'm maybe I'm just misremembering, but like I was under the impression that content creators had seen some Black Ops 6 gameplay. I didn't realize they'd seen zombies though. Huh. Please. <laughs> You're gonna get to see people playing zombies live, yes. and we'll be talking about a lot more in the next few months. I they get to play it live! 
Let me play it live! Oh, can't wait. Okay, uh, you've touched upon multiplayer slightly. Obviously, multiplayer is my okay. favorite part of Call of Duty. They're moving away. They're moving away from zombies now. I've said what I need to say. I'm praying that the Call of Duty gods hear this. The folks over at Activision that are making this decision. I'm not just a zombies guy. I can bang out campaign videos if you need me to as well. I can bang out Warzone videos too. Just put me in the event, please. <laughs> okay, that's enough of my sob story. I just think it's funny that like, when you have somebody like him, that's actually like big in the community and has been here for like 15 plus years. He says it in his video and stuff like that, but has been around for that long in like basically you know, critiquing the game on how, you know, it can improve and praising it when it deserves praise and everything like that. But he's one of the main people that gets, like, blacklisted from Treyarch in, in just general, like, from zombies in general. So he's never invited <laughs> to any single place like that to try out the games or anything like that. It's so funny that, like, you can have someone like that be pretty much treated like me essentially like someone that's not big in zombies or anything that's gonna get the game day one along with everybody else just to try the game that day so other people are gonna sit there and make content ahead of time and give their personal opinions i'm not saying their opinions are bad or anything but like when you have like someone like that that's not gonna get like any kind of early access that you might want to actually hear feedback from someone like him first it's like um oh man i can't even remember the youtuber's name um i want to say exclusive ace but i'm not too sure i don't remember but it's someone like that getting to play games ahead of time just to test like the different mechanics in call of duty i think it's exclusive aces I'm not 100%, but, like, he'll show, like, the recoil patterns, like, the different weapon tuning, you know, stuff like that. And, like, he'll, you will literally see him, I think, in the last Call of Duty um, for MW3. He was literally in multiplayer, not even shooting at, any, like, playing. He was literally just sitting there shooting at walls, testing gunplay for the fans. So you have someone like that compared to, like, Milo. It's pretty much, like, the same thing. They're going to be doing things like that compared to just running around and just you know simply playing the game actually like trying to give honest feedback about it but obviously because you are trying to be honest about some things you're going to get blacklisted but that's pretty much it for the zombie segment it wasn't even that much um it's more so i guess like a milo rant because he's he's really getting blacklisted is actually kind of crazy it's not funny but it's it's just it's it's kind of sad but anyways, yep, thanks for watching. Um appreciate it. Like, subscribe. Alright, peace.